In this video, we'll guide you through the process of exporting a virtual machine from VMware Workstation to an ESXi server using the Open Virtualization Format OVF. Please ensure that your VMware Workstation VM is hardware compatible with your ESXi server to avoid compatibility issues. Let's start. Select the target virtual machine and click VM in the menu. Then, choose Manage, followed by Change Hardware Compatibility to open the wizard. In the wizard, Select the desired hardware compatibility version. Ensuring it matches your ESXi version in this lab. We're using ESXi 7.0. Click Next to proceed. Choose to create a new clone of this virtual machine and click Next. Provide a name for the cloned virtual machine and select its location. This virtual machine will be compatible with ESXi 7.0. Then, click Finish. Now, let's move on to the second step, where we'll convert the cloned virtual machine into an OVF file. Select the cloned virtual machine. Click on File in the menu and select Export to OVF. Specify a destination location to store the exported files and click Save. Wait for the conversion process to complete. Once done, you'll find five files in the destination location. With the OVF file ready, let's proceed to deploy it on your ESXi server. Log in to your ESXi host. Navigate to Virtual Machines and click Create or Register VM to open the wizard. On the Select Creation Type tab, choose Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF and then click Next. On the Select OVF and VMDK Files tab, provide a name for the new VM. Click on the blank space to select the VMDK and OVF files you exported from VMware Workstation. Then, click Next. On the Select Storage tab, specify a data store where you want to store the VM files. Click Next. On the Deployment Options page, configure the network mappings, disk provisioning, and power on status according to your preferences. Then, click Next. On the Ready to Complete page, review the settings and click Finish to start the deployment process. You can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks section. Once the deployment is complete, you can power on the converted VM on your target ESXi host. Congratulations! You've successfully exported and deployed a virtual machine from VMware Workstation to an ESXi 7.0 server using the OVF. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more tech tutorials.